Welcome to Split Seconds. I'm Mallory Tucker. Let's take a quick look at what's happened this week at Lincoln Memorial University. to tip off the home basketball season. The dinner and a doubleheader event raised over $1,000 as over 30 guests were treated to a steak dinner before watching the men and women's basketball games at Tex Turner Arena. The Lady Rail Splitter softball team served the meal, which included steaks donated from Shiloh Steakhouse in London, Kentucky. Sodexo also provided portions of the meal. LMU commemorated Veterans Day on Monday with a special ceremony on the quad. The Paul V. Hamilton School of Arts and Humanities Dean, Martin Sellers, presided over the ceremony, which was planned in conjunction with LMU's ROTC program. Following the remarks by Sellers, a flag was raised, which had previously been flown in the battle area of the forward operating base in Kunduz, Afghanistan, during Operation Enduring Freedom. Fourth Circuit Court Judge Bill Swan held his Order of Protection docket at the Duncan School of Law. It marked the 10th consecutive year that Swan has taken his docket on the road and the second time Dee Saul has hosted the event. The off-site presence is a joint venture of Judge Swan, Clerk Joy McCroskey, Dee Saul, the Knox County Sheriff Department, and LMU Security. It is aimed at providing Dee Saul students the unique learning experience of observing how domestic violence issues can be resolved through the legal system. This week, psychology professor Ron Thornton presented Cover Me, Songs and Stories with Ron Thornton. The concert, which was held in the Arnold Auditorium, featured original songs and covers from acts such as the Rolling Stones and Linda Ronstadt. The concert was free, but he also sold his CD, Songs from the Porch. All proceeds from the CD sales went to the Claiborne County Relay for Life. LMU President Dr. B. James Dawson and several members of the University Advancement staff attended the Association of Fundraising Professionals Great Smoky Mountain Chapters National Philanthropy Day celebration at Cherokee Country Club in Knoxville. It was an opportunity to recognize the great contributions of philanthropy and those people active in the philanthropic community. The university honored alumnus Nancy Leach for her continued commitment to her alma mater and her tireless efforts volunteering at LMU. Volleyball middle blocker Blair Fowler was named Rail Splitter of the Week following a pair of record-setting matches last week. Fowler turned in a 25-kill, 17-dig performance versus Carson Newman. That single-match kill tally notched her in the top 10 of all-time single-match totals. She followed up her performance with a 27-kill, 14-dig effort against Catawba. That kill total is a single-match record for kills in a match during the rally scoring era. That's a split-second look at what's happening around LMU. There will be no split seconds next week as LMU observes the Thanksgiving holiday. Jared will be back after the break with another episode. Until then, have a wonderful Thanksgiving and log on to www.lmunet.edu for the latest campus news. Thanks for watching.